Welcome everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. It was a beautiful morning. I didn't sleep at all last night and I figured since I was up for the sunrise I'd go out. I wasn't out there quite that early but just after sunrise and I got a picture of the sun I should show it to you. It was in the shape of a heart. Just give me one second. It's right here. Yeah. I don't know how well you can see it there, but it's in the shape of a heart, if you can see that. And I got pictures of some ETs in my bedroom window there. So I'm going to show you that. Well, this might be a better picture of the heart. I'm not sure. And then here is the... Yeah, I don't know how well you can see him. Let's see a little guy peeking out the window. It looks like he's in a jail cell here. Right there. There's some uh, fingerprints on here. Let me see if I can get them off. Let's see if there's a better picture, too. There's actually two of them coming through, but this one, I don't know if you could see his, like his eyes sparkling right there. But you should be able to see his face. It looks like a hand here. So it's pretty cool this morning. And I have a lot for you. I have a Metatron read. I have a message of the day, which I haven't done for a little bit. And I have the Twin Flame read for you on the table today for Valentine's Day. And there's definitely some Valentine's messages that were coming up for sure. And uh, let's go ahead and roll the die first for Valentine's Day for the Twin Flames. Today is February 14th, 2022. Oh, we're going to have to roll that one again. That was like between three and four. And number eight. Okay. So we have the eight of strength, manifesting dreams, and the dance between the masculine and the feminine. We have the 69 of the, it's cancer energy, but also looks like the ace of pentacles, which is offering a new life or time, money, and effort in a big way. And then we have Mercury here as well, which is a lot about communication, which of course Valentine's Day is a big communication day, so that makes sense. So we have Leo, Cancer, and then Gemini and Virgo here. So we have um, kind of a mixture of energies with the um, cardinal sign of Cancer. Leo is a fixed sign, and Virgo and Gemini are, are um, mutable. So it's a very loving, you know, kind of home-filled, communicative day um, of trying to manifest dreams. <laughs> and here is the Metatron read, so I'm going to show you that first. And um, let's see here. Today adds up to the 22 also, so it's emphasizing the 22 year and the 22 of the fool's journey, of having an open heart, taking that leap of faith and how perfect for Valentine's Day, and 14's temperance. So it's that patience and balance, right? Just taking a step off the beaten path, being patient with yourself for that higher love on the fool's journey. I got up around 4.44 this morning, and then when I went to get my, my juice and stuff this morning, it was 5.55, so again, the triple numbers are coming in. And I did the Metatron read at 6.02 to 6.03 this morning. And the bottom of the deck was the red card, which is the root chakra energy of the shaman. And the 55 of the Ace of Swords, the truth. And Excalibur was coming up today with the truth, which is also the X's caliber. So it can come up in a couple different ways. The colors that came up this morning were green, red, and gold. And that was it. The elements of fire and air both came up, which of course you know air stimulates the fire, so you can really get a fire going there. And I started translating at 6.06 .06 this morning, which is the two lovers or the six of swords and the lovers, which is finding a peaceful place to be or just peace in general. And the first card out was the clarity card of meditating and just imagining that shower of white light all around you with the diamond, the diamond white light, to get clarity on your shadow, whatever needs to be brought up for the day. So conquering your fears one step at a time, 
of healing and dreams come true, of the emerald heart healing, emerald was very significant today, also moss and algae and the bottom of the water type of plants were coming up here, and the knight of cups being love, while being the shaman, read of the truth of safety, strength, and power. The masculine is strong here, but the feminine side was needing work, the one who needs to you know, conquer their dreams, but it can be the feminine within the masculine as well. The wings illuminated or sparkling green plant and the teepees and peace pipes as the divine masculine picks up feathers that the divine, ma divine feminine has left for him to put in his hair like the shaman and the eagle. With royal blue, green, and red in the underlying energy, with emerald and rubies and sapphires perhaps. I was just getting rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. The shaman offering thanksgiving every day to the dragon shaman with cone and teepee and the dragon with crystal pyramid elevating the red of the root to the orange and yellow in return. So the first card out, again, was going within. At 625, it was the lovers in the Knight of Wands, so getting moving with passionate energy. Go within to shower in the diamond white light for clarity on your shadow, then meditating for a message. And so I stopped to do a short meditation, and I saw a coil that then was, it was getting like disjointed, bent out of shape. So somebody might be getting bent out of shape, and then it was going into a bicycle backpedaling. So somebody getting bent out of shape and then backpedaling to try to get out of it. Um, and there were definitely pedals of a bicycle, which is the bicycle, right? The, the two cycle. And then I got a message right at that moment too, which made me open up my eyes. And uh, it was some weird uh, weight loss, you know, advertisement coming to my phone. But uh, it said, Evelyn craved to drain 51 pounds, and 51 is the king of swords. And pounds came up yesterday as the binary logarithm to the base of two. You know, the rhythm of the logos, the logos, and the binary, the two planets, the two, the twins, the base to the base two. And then at 634 is the lovers and the eight of wands of the energetic exchange, the cosmos mirroring you in judgment again of the 12 pentagon faces. And the dodecadrom was coming up here, but also we talked about the space between the end of the deck and then the beginning of do re mi and that was coming up again here with the dodecadron because we have the do of the do re mi and the deck of the end of the deck of the dodecahedron the do and the deck the end of the deck to do re mi and the l or space in between the l of the right angle or the 11 the alignment and the six lines on top of each other it comes up as as well as the energetic exchange of e and e where the one separates from the three lines down, which means one equal or congruent and congruent to times two. That is the space between the end and the new beginning. He may be a drone or a drum, the face of geometry or geometric solid between the end and the beginning. Take the lead, answer the call, up the golden stairway with flame in hand, which was so weird because I haven't done that meditation in a very long time. And I did that meditation before this read and it came up again. Going up the golden stairway, up though, not down, up to your special room together with flame in hand, weaving royal red and purple here. And it was weird when I did that meditation on my own. It was different, I just did another meditation today and that was an amazing connection for Valentine's Day. Um, but yesterday when I went up to this room, which I hadn't done for a long time, where you climb the, the golden stairs up to your special room, and I went in there, there was all these random men sitting in there, just sitting around, like not doing anything, but it was really weird. Like, you know, why are all these guys just sitting here? So um, the wounded warrior Kundalini again rising when meditating with the diamond white light, using that untapped energy from the root chakra, and then big bird coming up. And remember, that's the card where the birds see me as like them, but a big bird with a triangle of rainbow colors in the middle and wings. Big bird expanding the base 
into the triangle vortex to activate the zero point at the cervical spine, which is the atlas, right? The first vertebrae. The atlas holds your head, the weight of the head, worth your weight in gold from lead. The queen of swords activating the cosmic connection before the clarion call each day. See the astral plane, and they're giving me an order to how I should do things. They were saying, go to the astral plane and then climb the golden steps, and they gave me eight, and that could be different for you. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Don't forget that. Release the wounded warrior Kundalini then to expand your wings before doing the clarion call, which is very interesting. At 650, which is the lovers and the 10 of cups, which is emotional fulfillment or family happiness or perhaps a happy ending, aligning with the wake up call. And of course, call has two L's, which is that 11 again of alignment. Listen and note or tone. Again, first the white light. It can do this even in the shower where you imagine a shower of diamond white light coming down all around you to, to clear you. And then to go visit go to the see the um, astral plane first see the stars and then go climb the golden staircase to your special room to see your twin and then i was getting the mushroom again right because yesterday and the day before it was coming up as the moo or the lemurian shh room or the library and it's also the mushroom right where you can get mushy so the light and then go to the astral plane and then to your room up the golden stairs and then activate um, your root to tip, you know, ground yourself and see your Kundalini rising up through your crown to open your golden wings to fly and then white wings for the clarion call, perhaps to speak to others. Then while the shaman and the dragon dance and trade secrets, perhaps, of fire and strength, of truth and the sun, the winter fall to let go of control to the journey on orange to gold, the orangutan of orange. And the orangutan literally means forest man or orange forest. It also has to do with grass or orange grass, the vegetable or without on the outside or the forest man, the outsider. Hutan means forest and orange without the E is man. They are also called Mayas and Mawas. So the forest man or outsider to gold or enlightened man, both with wings, the dragon fire purified to angel wings instead on the human journey. The orangutan on the flying trapeze with long arms, tree to tree, the monk key, Laying around with little ones in the forest. Birds flying free in diamond air transition from that fire. Remember, we've been talking about the King of Wands. When he gets out of balance, he needs to go to the King of Swords. And here we have that energy of the dragon turning into the bird to fly free in the diamond air transition from dragon to bird, from pyramid to diamond, which is both pyramids, bottom to bomb, bottom before becoming the Merkaba. The shaman fire dragons and the eagles go way back on how to get to the gold and the holy grail or the hole, the holy grail is the hole at the Y in the road, right? The top of the pyramid where all roads lead home on grail, which is God's rail. Connecting sudden epiphany to ancestors and the tree of life, blessing your cup, which is also the word taste, which came up in the header yesterday, which means cup or cupful, like tasing someone, but it also means cup. And it also is a level or a balance sheet or a white birch tree used for writing material. So here, enjoying the journey, that process actually connects you to the Holy Grail or the G rail. Remember, the G can be the golden mean, the shell shape. The G rail in energetic exchange or lots of communication or travel back and forth. At the end of the day, you are held in the sunset by your own reflection and compassion of family welcoming you back to the void to pause and go within while you sleep, reflecting the weeping willows and wills and owls of self-love and compassion. 
the new dawn then and welcoming yourself back to the high vibe destiny of the valley of the sun where deserts are without much shadow to have your wish and self-satisfaction gathering with family of the aqua rose gold heart of love relationships and harmony the king of cups look up at sunrise and detach from all drama at 727 to 28 which is the twin flames and the ace of wands and that's when i went outside to take those pictures that i showed you right after the sun came up over the horizon the heart sun and the ets in my window and again about the king of cups needing to look up in the morning um, go to akashic review for wise perspectives and who are you as your authentic self remember that you are me we are each other and we and child makes three the rolling stone e m three w or emu beacon shine on if this card is number 44 but again this was reminding you that we're we're going towards according to cryon using 44 percent of our dna as opposed to about 30 percent of our dna and eventually achieving up to 80 to 90 percent of our dna like the pleiadians and achieving 100% just for a split second to achieve spontaneous healing. The Atlas Mountains, Morocco was coming up again, and the Blue Apples, which are special olives. And Eve's heritage was coming up here. The Rock of Atlas, Hercules, right? So it's at the rock, like the Rock of Gibraltar, Atlas and Hercules. The Rock of Atlas, Hercules, which is her harvest. England, Morocco, Spain, and then France for Liberty passed to the U.S. or us. So, and then for some reason, I just was, I said, what's 44% of 88, which is 38.72, which is the Queen of Cups and the 72, the 72 by 2 and the 144. So that was pretty significant. Um, the underlying energy is the walk between two mountains through the Emerald Forest. And I always tell you that with the, the mountains, the Atlas Mountains in Morocco. And then the Hercules is the mountain. They say they're never sure about which one's which, but I use both of them. The Atlas Mountains is one pillar. And then the Hercules Mountains is in situ, is it? It's the Spanish territory right there in Morocco. Um, they're the second mountain. And then the Rock of Gibraltar points to England, which then points with the Gibraltar Strait straight to the US. So it was literally pointing our way through England to the United States. And I was again getting Morocco coming up because they keep telling me that Morocco is where the original Garden of Eden was. Remember that the earth has shifted. It's not how the map is today, right? We, we kind of destroyed our earth when we left here in Atlantis. So what I'm getting, and this has been multi many times that even if I question it, are you sure? Because I was like looking at the maps of what all the, the experts guess on where, where the Garden of Eden was in Mesopotamia, which is more um, closer to the, um, the Tigris River. But I keep getting it that it's Morocco. And it's where the four rivers come in. And I looked at Morocco, and there's these four main tributaries that come towards the center of the country. And then I looked up where the gold and the onyx is, and the onyx is right there. So it was making sense. So, you know, take it or leave it, but that's what I was getting. The Atlas Mountains in Morocco and the Blue Apples, because remember the, the olive trees um, grow where they're not supposed to grow there in Morocco. And they become very special olives. And again, Eve's heritage was coming up here. The Rock of Atlas, Hercules, her harvest, England, Morocco, Spain, and France for liberty passed to thee, the U.S., so again, walking between the two mountains through the Emerald Forest, and the Emerald Forest was a movie in 1985 about the Brazilian rainforest and how a man who went to work there with his family had his little boy stolen by a, by a, a tribe there. And he spent 10 years, it was based on a true story, and he spent 10 years trying to find his son, and he finally does, but... I don't, I don't think I've ever seen it. I was just looking at the trailer of it so I understood what it was. Um, he was going there to build a hydroelectric dam, which was also coming up as significant here because we're talking about how to get more um, you know, power out of the earth and water wheels and things like that to make it really cheap for everyone to have electricity and, and clean water. 
So hydroelectric dam may be a clue for someone about that. And then um, something else that came up was Redmond, Washington. There's a treehouse and theater there. It's like a wedding venue called the Emerald Forest, as well as Trinidad, California with cabins and RV location. And right at that moment at 827, I smelled the candle go out, but I had no candles lit. It was really weird. Um, the Emerald Forest was also the utility district in Houston, Texas. So those are all the Emerald Forests that came up. Then I saw a header about the Moroccan Jews in South America, like who came to Brazil. So I was, then I was getting Brazil and the Amazon, but it was taking me back to Morocco. So, and you never think of Moroccan Jews, but they were talking about Moroccan Jews in South America, the mid 19th century, where the majority went to Brazil and some Argentina at the time. Um, Brazilians were mostly from North Morocco, Tanger and Tetuan, I'm probably not saying them right. And then a couple of other of those um, uh, cities and stuff at, at, the, uh, top of, at the top of Morocco. And then from uh, mysteriousuniverse.org, and that was right at 844, after I just established 44 being significant, um, 15 miles off Rio de Janeiro and 100 feet down in Brazil is where they found relics from ancient Rome that were like three tennis courts wide. And they, ne they don't understand how it got there. Maybe someone, you know, actually made it there on a ship. And these relics were lost in the bottom of the ocean there. Um, but the first Euro thought to be, or, or European thought to be in Brazil wasn't until 1500. And before 1976, that's what they thought when they found these relics, which were from, from the second to third century. So Morocco is ancient Carthage from 800 to 300 B, BC, e. and then it just went into the different um, empires. But you know, you can look that up if you'd like to. But it just took me into this whole long journey into the Garden of Eden, which wasn't considered Morocco. And of course, nobody agrees on where it actually is, which wouldn't really matter because the whole land was probably the Garden of Eden. But I'm still getting it's Morocco, not that piece of land, but the Moroccan piece of land. And let's see if there's anything else important. Oh, this was also significant. When they were going through the, the lineage of Brazil, or excuse me, Morocco, they were called the Mauritanians, not the modern one, but before that, which became a client kingdom of the Roman Empire in 33 BC. Notice the year, 33 BC. And then the next thing they did, it was the Emperor Claudius annexed it directly in 44 AD, 33 to 44, which we're going in percentage of DNA, and that happens to be the name of my business as well, making it a Roman province ruled by the imperial governor. So some of the Moroccan language came up too, which is a lot of symbols I see all the time. So I'd written that down and their flag is the five pointed star on the red flag. So again, the red was coming up as significant today and their theme is God, Homeland, King. And Casablanca, so it's on the 33rd degree line. And one of the, they speak multiple languages there like Arabic and Moroccan, um, two different kinds of Arabic and then the Berbers and then the French. And it was very interesting because the internet code for Morocco is MA. It's dot MA. And so is the um, ISO 3166 code is MA. It's the motherland. The call code is 212. And um, again, Morocco still claims Ceuta and Melilla as part of their country. It's actually on their area, but it's, you know, it's occupied by Spain. Um, someone else came up around the Moroccan Garden of Eden with moringa, moringa trees, which I watched a little YouTube video on. It's also, they're also called drumstick trees, can keep you alive in a natural disaster. Um, The um, YouTube was IV Organic. So he was talking about the Moringa trees, which are also called Auberge Le Lac, or that's the area they're from. And they're called Rahuna. The garden is called actually Rahuna. And 
in Morocco, and that's Ulia, Morocco. And there it's a bunch of plants that have been rescued from construction areas around there. But he said 100, 100 grams of the raw leaf is greater than the protein in an egg. It has nine amino acids, as well as A, D, and B6, and the micronutrients, very nutritious. So you can go into all the Bible verses about where the Garden of Eden is and all that kind of stuff. And I went through all that, and it was very interesting too because the Taurus Mountains are right above Mesopotamia. And Taurus in the North Node now is coming up as well. And then Syrian Desert was below there. But I, no matter what it said, and there was arguments, of course, then all the arguments are good arguments. But I kept getting um, Morocco. So I'd love to hear what you guys get about that. If you want to tune into your own intuition and comment below on what you're getting as where the, actually the Garden of Eden is. Um, yeah, and I did, there was a lot of different explanations for Kush. It's not just um, Ethiopia, because there's other words that are Kush as well that applied to different people. So there was a lot of good arguments. And also, Morocco looks like a seahorse. And I always talk about, right, the sea is the fish of Jesus and the horse is Mr. Ed. So there's just a lot of things that kept coming up. And plus, in Morocco, you have the Atlas Mountains, and then you have the anti-Atlas Mountains, which is so in line with the duality, right? So something else that is supposed to be the place of Garden of Eden is where there's gold and onyx, which is right in the middle of the country where the four tributaries tend to come to in Morocco. So just my my stuff coming up. There were also the colors of, of onyx that came up from Morocco were mostly green and kind of that, you know, the tannish brownish, they call it red, but that's kind of the color it was. Um, one onyx actually is used in electronics as well. So again, the electric stuff, like the dam that I was talking about. So there's something more to this than just what I'm talking about. And the onyx is in Skura, which is the middle of the country. Okay, so let's get into this message of the day now. I'll show you the picture of that. This is my message of the day. So the first one is the Metatron deck. This one is the animal spirit deck. I have the uh, Lenormand Reverie, the Gilded, and the Kipper deck in there. And this is at 11, 17 to 20 this morning. The underlying energies were the Stingray, the Tree, the Knight of Pentacles Upright, and the Gift. It was a really nice underlying energy today. It isn't always. It's usually a mixture of cards, but they're never all really good. And it was actually quite um, positive this morning. The stingray pulled in, or plugged in rather. I wrote, I wrote pulled in, so somebody might be pulled in. So the stingray's plugged in and turned on to the family tree of freedom, change, and expansion on the rainbow bridge that runs through it, like the river runs through it. The Knight of Pentacles is looking forward to gift, a dream come true but going back to the family tree or marriage, religion, establishment. The wolf is stunned or perhaps got caught or is very surprised at what they see, getting a closer look at what it is to be plugged in and turned on and activated, perhaps by the family tree. With wise counsel here, perhaps a grounder and a flyer, the two who are a hoot, with man or country or the king of wands of passion, with pests, chewing up the place with red and green apples and standing up for themselves in the Garden of Eden or E's Den. And remember the E is the line with the three lines down, which means one is equal and congruent to the other that's one and equal or congruent to. So the two who are equal and congruent to each other with space between and the Queen of Wands was coming up here and a poisonous snake in the quantum entanglement with the crazy eights, the vehicle of infiltration where the Knight of Cups takes a risk or gamble and sudden star or spontaneous healing of the Six of Cups in her children, or an epiphany about Atlas Mountains and sharing 
of abundant energetic exchange of the King of Pentacles and clean water, moss and algae, green plants on the bottom of the rivers there, and the Queen of Wands and the two swans with a message of love from or rejected by the Hierophant family tree with options, seeing synchronicities, perhaps confused why the Knight of Pentacles upright is coming in as opposed to going forward to get that gift they really want. The world or Pisces or Seal Divine Feminine coming full circle to bring good news or the journeyman does, and that could be a delivery to your home. With attention as well, reputation and leading the way at work with the Page of Wands reversed, frustrated, and the Sovereign reversed, dependent, and knowing all along and keeping it to themselves, but now unhappy, still didn't get their wish, healing, disappointment, or separation, and recovering from loss or regret. As the Knight of Pentacles upright comes in to help, the Queen of Wands thief is around a man in bad health, or her health stolen from her, or conflicts with health care, an abundant marriage with a big house, perhaps somebody got the house in a judgment, with the main female, divine feminine high priestess with the final rose, or after the War of the Roses, and the man with sudden thoughts of a woman, or the scent of a woman, or senses of a woman, or sudden event or sexual exchange of shadow lovers at 11.45, which happens to be the time of my birth, but not during the day at night. The sudden exchange or sexual exchange of shadow lovers with the twin flame, 28, or that choice of path, or the lady with expectation looking out the window for the main male, and I'm now just getting to make his entrance, but I wrote to arrive with a gift, a dream come true or a healing. And this was at 1146, again, justice, which is truth and balance and alignment. And the 46, which remember the four and the six came up with the five is the space between, right? And the four is the right angle of the one and the six is the golden mean shape of the shell. So the first section here was the hawk taking flight again, because that came up for the masculine for the masculine read. The hawk taking flight, clearing the air with the tarantula at crossroads at zero point field. And kitty hawk could be coming up here. Hawk with lover's breakthrough of ten of cups upright, happy family, dancing with a false person or masked person, or the male female tango here and a choice of path on the fool's journey, putting all the cards out on the table as the king of cups, impoverished little boy, leaves everything behind for unconditional love. The ten of cups family may be letting go to repair things or perhaps fix something they messed up. The second section here is the cobra, the deer, the crocodile, and the tiger. The cobra is about to strike gold as the fox leaves the hen house for a higher love, with the Ten of Pentacles, family, business, or community of wealth or, or legacy of a mature woman, lover, family, or mother. Dear one, after whole deck is down and before doe a deer, with space or the L or energetic exchange between exposing the powers that be, the establishment, the universities, or ancient ruins with sunshine, an atlas hauling ass perhaps, or moved left to the right angle with two buck or Sears and Roebuck or Sears and Roebuck watching him under pressure to get the payday inspired by great fortune at 1156 which is the 11 of justice and alignment and the 56 of the two of swords of being your knowing and keeping your energy clear and to yourself or keeping it to yourself because you don't want to deal with it and pretending not to know the crocodile lost their smell or perhaps cut off their nose to spite their face, but knowing, or using the no word to spite their face, with a child in transition, or perhaps some kind of new birthing of something, or transformation, dark night of the soul, or a new venture in energetic exchange of arrows of love and lots of exchanges, which of course today is Valentine's Day, with communication and travel back and forth to Atlas or to a burden, a flight, or a maiden voyage, Smooth sailing if spaceship, but otherwise without water to ground into, or stuck on Plymouth Rock without anchoring in, or perhaps titanic proportions or gigantic love story at 12 on the dot. As tiger stalks 
or perhaps the woods, <laughs> getting a peek as the King of Cups in time collapse with truth to present or victory lap in courtship to be had regarding the emperor or home and stability or moving in together. The Ten of Pentacles upright with the family business or community or a treasure or legacy facing Atlas for fair trade or to cash in or settle out on an energetic exchange or arrows of love with the truth of Excalibur or the X's caliber is coming up here. The third section here is the eagle, the swans, and the scorpion. The eagles take a dive to reflect the scorpion's sting or jump start, or perhaps a false start, or the eagles coming down on reflecting swans to trigger them purposely, or the eagles triggering the wounded warrior to pull up anchor to pay up and clear out and end the cycle. The swans are home with the Queen of Swords reversed, currently in prison or in prison or imprisoned by their gifts or anxieties or until they're imprisoned until they actually get a gift today. The scorpion is jump-starting a spiritual union of peace and maturity and calla lilies perhaps as a present, perhaps with the King of Wands upright, the mature worldly man or hierophant that's free or that's the king of wands's father, boss, or in-law, imprisoned by an empty house now, perhaps empty house, empty nest syndrome. At 1210 is the hanging man and the wheel of fortune, the inequity of the queen of swords reversed, and the king of wands upright, or perhaps looking to scam him. The fourth section here is the starfish, the lamb, and the horse. And the, the lamb's definitely coming up as here at Target, and I was just getting the silencing of the lamb again. But the starfish is coming up as the star and the fish, we can re reference the Jesus energy, and the lamb, of course, as the target, along with Mr. Ed, right, which is that sad you got energy of the centaur. Or the star inspired to write, or inspired by a letter or document, to or from the page of pentacles, with a message of concern, patience, and or a higher love. The lamb with power lady, or one with presence, with the page of swords in adjudication of union or marriage, or in court, perhaps about a marriage or um, children. Mr. Ed, or the talking head, the loving lady with the rose, and the hermit reversed over isolating or going crazy, or with ill parent or just coming out to ride on the high vibe G rail, the holy grail, Two ladies face to face over new passion that's written. The page of pentacles upright and the page of swords upright here perhaps is driving the hermit nuts or two kids coming out about what they did or two friends hanging out, um, having it out with each other. Perhaps uh, this could be perhaps someone summoned to court or perhaps jury duty and catching the last train for the coast at 1220. And here there's one situation where there could be like a teen who got summoned for jury duty because they're of age now and didn't know they couldn't just not show up in court. You know, like kids will just pretend like they didn't read something or don't read it at all or throw it away because they don't want to do it. And then they get arrested or something for not going to jury duty. That could be coming up for somebody. But catching the last train for the coast at 1220, which is the hangman and judgment, Perhaps the judge is not buying their excuse or parent-teacher conferences here at 1221. Perhaps Saji protecting the child star or two mothers and two children in mediation or moving in together after a divorce. The fifth section here at 1223 is the hanging man and the king of wands again. The bee, the hardworking bee who's humble and hardworking, with the shark attacking the curious innocent otter and the bee aligning by cracking the whip at home with high honors as the Knight of Wands. The shark is confused, and this could, shark tank could be coming up as well. The shark is confused trying to get to their target or the bull's eye with patient angel or trying to teach them an occupation or lots of back and forth or busy work here. The otter's looking out for fun in the mountains perhaps, Atlas or a challenge to overcome, inspiring to them. At night, the full moon or Sagi and Cancer hitting the jackpot 
aligning with 777 and sudden wealth and or arrows of love. Or the carpenter um, perhaps is home or working on a home with Saggy and Cancer, a home with Sagittarius and Cancer, or patient angel at night um, achieving high honors in their occupation or in school of hard knocks at 1228, which is again the hanging man and the twin flames or the choice of path. All right, so now we're going to go back to the Twin Flame general read here. They're all general reads, but this is for all of the Twin Flames here. Spe about specifics. Okay. So I did this one last night at 618. And here's the full read that's on the table in front of you. It's a seven deck read for those of you not familiar. So it is a lot of energy for all the twin flames. If something doesn't resonate with you, don't force it to fit, right? Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want something more specific to you personally, you can always check out my website or the information below if you want to do a read. And I have a CD out there also called Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames by Evelyn Stainthorpe if you want to check that out. But here we have the read in front of you. The Syrian Starseed deck was cut and dealt at 618, which is the lovers and the moon. And of course, it's Valentine's Day today. 629 is the lovers and the three of wands where you are of orbs came up. And orbs is thoughts and words, but it's also blind men and orphans. And mystic harmony was also coming up, if that means anything to you. At 642, I finished clarifying, which is the lovers and the two of cups. And we have the chariot, the star seed. And after the read, star seed, by the way, is the fool. Indigo came up, which is the magician, reason, which is the emperor, guidance, which is the hierophant, and then Luna, which of course is the moon. There were two wands, three pentacles, two cups, and two swords here. The 23 and the 22, the king of wands on the fool's journey. And the numbers that, that well, the court cards first were the page of pentacles and the king of wands in the read, and then before the read, the page of cups comes up. So it's just the king of wands and perhaps two children or messages, or dealing with messages. And we have triple threes, triple fours, and double twos here. So two, three, four, shut the door. 34, especially the eight of wands. The triple fours is about the angelic realms. And the triple threes, of course, we talked about that yesterday. The 369 and Tesla and the 3D, 45D of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And number six was significant here of the lovers. Eight of the dance. And then... Uh, also, in a lesser sense, uh, like one, two, three, four, shut the door, definitely came up. 23 of the King of Wands, 12 of the Hanging Man, 34 of the Eight of Wands, 45 of the Five of Cups, and that's the grieving of loss or regret, and the 56 of the Two of Swords, and then the 68 of the Page of Pentacles, which can be an opportunity or an invitation or perhaps a really good student or someone doing research, right, starting a new project. So the code line here was all about domestic harmony, and it was broken up into do, mestic, so there you have that do, re, mi reference as well, and then ha, harmony, do, ha. Does, does do, ha mean anything to anyone? Because that was just coming up now. But mestic means to prime, like when you're painting. And then harmony can be about an arm, like the orangutan hanging from the arm, but also could be our money. So... The code line is all about the number seven coming from four and three, which is very significant of the empress and the emperor and the seven of the chariot, right? The emperor and the empress in the chariot ascending or perhaps infiltrating. And the first interpretation came up as tipsy. Tipsy, fire, tiger, or to castrate. It was interesting because this definition was to castrate, but when it's an animal, it's an animal that's not castrated. So... Being tipsy, and then all the definitions of this word, which was te, T-A, which has a lot of definitions, so I don't want to go through all of them. But being tipsy in that fire tiger energy, to castrate or neuter, to reign, to come, to see, the father, the one, the fence, the wall, full of weeds, to come see or a sudden event that may be iffy here in taking the high road 
or 309 or 309. This could be someone driving drunk as well, perhaps in a foo-foo car, or perhaps for afraid to drive somewhere in their foo-foo car, or the emperor in car with empress of bad spirits or a mule, so somebody could be transporting drugs, or to maybe literally riding a mule. Um, so bad spirits or to sleep to keep the peace. So if two people are driving in a car, maybe one's sleeping so that they don't argue with each other. And then at 722, which again is the chariot and the 22 of the fool's journey, writing material, expanding and contracting, taking the high road, again 309 or 309, or highway driving with the emperor and the empress to collect dirt on someone, or perhaps um, prime out their money. It's like collecting dirt on someone is to prime their money supply, basically. And then the third interpretation was level or balance sheet that may be iffy, or the I am expanding and contracting on the high road or taking the highway for car or travel across the earth or around the world, or a fufu car through the badlands or jungle lands could be coming up there as well. So again, being afraid to take your nice car in a bad neighborhood or something that you can strew as a bad neighborhood. At 725 is the chariot and the 25 of the knight of wands. The three of wands is upright and beneath that is the two of pentacles reversed and it's actually coming from the king of cups reversed. King of cups reversed to the two of pentacles reversed, the ace of cups reversed, the page of cups reversed, the four of wands reversed and the five of pentacles reversed. And of course, this is the bottom of the deck here, the bottom card, and then the mini cards on top, and I just went five cards down. So the King of Cups reversed here is be below those five cards, but I wanted to bring it in because there was no like character um, doing the action. So the King of Cups reversed, which can also be conditions of love, perhaps lost their balance or dropped the ball, breaking patterns or pur of purging, overwhelm, or drinking too much dumping partners or dumping on a load, an emotional load, on the page of cups reverse, which can be their child or rejection, or moving or visiting to recover, not surrendering to all that is or needing to, dumped, rejected, unstable home or house, recovering from exile with gift or by being more present with flame, perhaps, receiving new passion without love, or new passion, growth, and creativity may be overwhelming or feeling pushed to their emotional limit, not sharing, imbalanced, inequity, or someone offering passion or a project without love to scam someone, or the divine masculine here, or just can't keep up the act anymore, robbing Peter to pay Paul, or just juggling too much at work. The page of swords reversed may not be talking, or they're spying and lying or spreading rumors or trash talking, or just with bad, a bad pabby mouth or leaving home, or the end of a marriage, or the party's over in a downturn or twist of fate, when the Knight of Swords upright or delivery came in. And this can be too, like a young couple who, who just got married, maybe someone got pregnant and they just got married and then they're someone going out, you know how teenagers are, they go out and do what they want anyway. It can kind of be that kind of energy. We have Libra reversed here, or the Knight of Swords with Libra in their chart. And that right at 740 there, my son actually called me. He's got Libra rising. Um, and by the way, he's like King of Cups energy too. He's Scorpio with Pisces moon. But the King of Cups reverse came up here with Libra in their chart, coming out about uh, feeling in, imprisoned or being in prison or imprisoned by arrows of love or energetic exchange of love, wanting to be able to offer or receive new passion and get over the loss and regret to be inspired again. Maybe too focused on the growth and needing to pull back a bit, feeling like they got the short end of the stick and needing to stop feeling sorry for themselves and know they're the whole package. The King of Swords is upright, peeking out to see what's going on from behind the High Priestess or Secret Garden with curtains opened and breaking patterns. The King of Swords is upright and Pisces or Viking letting go to fix, repair, or make amends, floating the gold coin and seesaw, unable to keep their balls up in the air, with a hook in their train and making repairs or patching the ceiling or seeing if the ice is melting yet 
in order to finish a work or project. With true love coming up here and beneath it, free yourself. Out in the cold, without an olive branch, doing it yourself, the page of pentacles reversed in need of help, but refusing to give up any information, like a steel vault, or refusing to ask for help, knowing and keeping to themselves the passionate energetic exchange that is the harsh truth, or deviant sex practices, SNM, or chained up in a mental institution, or arrested and cuffed, or in surgery he didn't give permission for, or drugged so another could play doctor, perhaps on TV. Feeling swelling in, in an elbow, perhaps, or injury in your DNA. Or in a torture chamber, threatening surgery to hurt them unless they give up the info or evidence, or POW, which is funny because my, my daughter just posted a, um, an acting skit with someone, which was like a Elena Bobbitt moment. <laughs> so it's totally that energy. So sometimes when this stuff comes up, it can just be something you were watching on TV. And someone's, someone's feet may be in the fruit basket, which is pissing somebody off. Um, or like the bird feeder, like sharing their feet where someone doesn't think they should be. Or apples used as a pin cushion, which sometimes pin cushions do look like apples. Or a sewing kit nearby for accidents or someone getting lots of plastic surgery to get someone jealous or just to refuse their advances once they get them drawn in or just to be irresistible to all people, right? Or, or a recovering addict being strong, resisting temptation of passion and or surgeries at 843, which is the dance of strength or manifestation. Um, Yeah, and then we have religious, a relationship change with the 56, which is the two of swords and being in your knowing. And beneath that was pride, which is 19. So it's about letting go of your pride as well, coming up here. At 843, it's coming together to do the dance. In a heated exchange, or not telling, holding back true feelings, and causing delays perhaps, in a twist of fate, and a breakup or breakdown, perhaps a breakthrough, and free to leap, in death, an end, a dark night, transition, and the page of cups upright with the knight of swords upright, perhaps two children or messages or deliveries coming in, a message of love and a delivery, or the knight in shining armor themselves, with Libra reversed, Cancer reversed, Aries and Scorpio upright here, perhaps a serenade of strings or surrender of a child, or Scorpio comes home as a surprise gift or sneaks in the back, perhaps after sneaking out. The Knight of Swords upright may be a gift or delivery or actually being present. The Page of Wands upright excited to stop juggling or give up the act or perhaps tell the harsh truth or give in to having surgery or allow their lover to experiment on them. Perhaps in relationship changes or knowing it and keep knowing a secret and keeping to themselves and establishing that between each other or keeping things private. And then we have implementing a plan of the King of Pentacles upright with fond memories, perhaps of their past or soulmate or their children perhaps, but it's coming up around the Queen of Swords reversed. And then the lovers on fire or codependent in marriage or Gemini, Capricorn and Taurus in bliss without the Ten of Pentacles family, business or community dysfunction at hand, working to align in need of peace the patient angel grounding, integrating, and mastering love with the high priestess and the queen of wands reversed, letting go to fix things with the empress reversed, perhaps with issues at work or third party through work, dropping the ball in a sudden event, epiphany, or sexual exchange to heal and or forgive the divine feminine in 5D, Pisces, or upside down world, needing closure or close to the end. Or two marriages here, one divine and one dark, and chained to the Hierophant, religion, establishment, or Taurus. The worst now is over, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, family, business, or community, work or work release program, in need of peace, being patient but bored, or grounding and integrating high priestess or secret, with the Queen of Wands reversed, looking the other way to fix things, with the Empress reversed, perhaps work issues or poor performance. 
The Queen of Swords is speaking about a sudden event, epiphany, or suddenly speaking and healing an upside down world, or Scorpio and Pisces healing each other along with the Queen of Swords upright, or perhaps a mother. Recently, here is the Four of Cups upright, grounding, integrating Atlas, hard work, or long labor of the Empress reversed. With the Ten of Cups upright, happy family, with the Page of Cups reversed, or perhaps a new child who's crying, so magical, or the Ten of Cups rejected, and a manifestation, or the Magician, Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles. Or the Empress reversed is emotionally fulfilled, but not interested at all in the Magician, the Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles, or what they have to say. Or this can just be a Gemini or Virgo, a Gemini or Virgo, Taurus, and King of Pentacles. It can just be that one person, the King of Pentacles. With inner child worthiness issues, knowing and being strong about a breakup, a breakdown, a break in, out, or a breakthrough, or canceled a trip or move or return of the Page of Pentacles reversed and their bad influences or group of friends. Or working out is boring for the Empress reversed with the Ten of Cups happy family, perhaps three men and a baby. With Taurus reversed and Gemini and Virgo upright, Taurus upright, Leo upright, and Cancer reversed here. The foundation is the Eight of Cups upright, walking away and within from a lot of emotions with lover or Gemini or with fond memories of kids or soulmates, with issues at work and a deception, or perhaps just getting up too early and not getting enough sleep. At 9.30, which is the nine of the hermit and the 30 of the union, the central energy here is the six of pentacles reversed, an imbalance and inequity, debt, not sharing, or perhaps a scam. And the movie that came up last night was Love Tactics. The Page of Pentacles reversed is in need of help, money, or opportunity, perhaps just laying around depressed or never learns their lessons or perhaps not doing well in school. The Knight of Swords delivery is coming and challenged by the chariot reversed or perhaps there's a car out of service or car or travel issues or broke, broken, broke up, down, in, out, or through with the wounded warrior on guard refusing to take on more work or not helping Atlas with 10 wands or both overworked, but one has a better perspective. The whole truth presented or victory to the page of wands, and this could be a competition between siblings with the page of wands and the knight of wands. The whole truth presented or victory to the page of wands, and this can be, I don't know if the Olympics are even still going on, but in a sudden overtime with the knight of wands reversed falling short between the tower and the patient angel, or someone at the races. The Ten of Pentacles reverse family, business, or community may be overspending on the wounded warrior and Pisces reverse, which can be kids who are now not appreciating what they used to have because they can't get that anymore because things have changed in the past couple of years, or lost income or savings, trying not to give up with the world upside down, or the wounded warriors guarding the divine feminine in the 5D to the Ten of Pentacles reversed family, business, or community of dysfunction. The Emperor's upright, perhaps being strong-armed by the Beast or Leo or Sagittarius wounded warrior and the Ten of Cups family, which can be the Sham Fam, pretending to be perfect on the outside but with lots of issues on the inside, expecting them to slave for them. Sleeping Beauty is being threatened to get out of bed or perhaps pushed out of bed or to wake up in a two-bowl split with the King of Cups reversed moving in with or visiting or unstable with the queen of pentacles upright or the parties just over between them and the queen of pentacles manifesting with justice or libra to swallow their pride about a rejection or legal judgment that's not in favor of the page of cups reversed or no longer willing to call them to wake them up anymore they have to do it on their own or perhaps made a bad call and needing to admit it and now in the crowning position is the page of pentacles reversed with no curiosity and the Knight of Pentacles upright, helping the Queen of Wands reversed face her fears, perhaps about going back to work or performing and juggling the daily, needing strength to tell the truth in a delivery. Coming clean or cleaning up the actor's space, the Queen of Swords upright here is speaking to the King of Cups reversed, who never learns to initiate on his own. Needing calmer waters with the Queen of Swords, perhaps dissatisfied with the King of Swords upright, 
or unhappy with him, without him, and the page of pentacles reversed is falling from grace or lacking faith in synchronicities or abundant options to implement a plan to end the suffering or sleepless nights, being strong yet defenseless to the energies of healing and justice. With the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords here, they're both upright. Aries and Libra reversed Leo upright here, and the Sovereign Lovers not coming together, or the King of Swords is single with two lovers, or broke up for third-party bliss and the Hermit reversed coming out to Sovereign, or is crazy for her. Cancer reversed and Gemini upright, Virgo reversed here. Soon is the King of Wands reversed. I was getting the master of the house, founder of the feast. Da, na, 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 na. So that was what Les Mis. So the King of Wands reversed coming up as the master of the house. The patient angel hanging out, drained, and sick or crazy kids or pets at the moment. With good news in a delivery to the Queen of Cups reversed with their back turned and walking away from being imprisoned to the Ten of Cups family, perhaps, at 10 o'clock on the nose, triple zeros, backing up the one, which can be the magician. Getting over guilt and shame of receiving help from the Knight of Pentacles, or perhaps charity efforts are feeling like a charity case. The twin flames are seeing themselves as the star seeds reversed, knocked for a loop, dissatisfied, or with no options, but a never-ending story of the King of Wands reversed needing to swallow their pride, withholding and saving for the Emperor, getting over loss and regret of energetic exchange that was never received. Let go of control, keep an open mind, and passion all came up for the twins. Around them or how they're seen is the Three of Swords reversed, healing conflict or perhaps forgiveness with the Knight of Cups reversed or jealousy issues, knowing and keeping to themselves to recover from exile, injury, or illness, and being left behind, perhaps working to align and get over rejection. The block here is the Three of Pentacles reversed, an issue at work with no peace or imprisoned, and domestic harmony, but even more so, teaching and learning and nature, right? To be green, but also allow things to happen naturally. Doing the avoid dance, or embarrassed to dance and falter, Taking a break, a rest, in 5D connect, in disconnect or at a distance from temptation, devil, Capricorn, or ball and chain. No reunion and fall from grace, with indigo and emperor upright, hierophant upright, or guidance about deception, or the two of cups reversed on break or at a distance with the queen of pentacles. The king of cups reversed, needing to surrender to the universe, perhaps pushed to their emotional limit at 1010, which is both wheels of fortune rolling forward in being dumped or dumping or overwhelmed by rejection or the page of cups reversed and that could be rejected by your child the page of cups reversed in unstable home and recovering to be present with flame or with gifts or giving them walking away without a promise of a new life healing grounding and integrating boredom and inequity or debt challenged by the chariot reversed the brokenness with the king of wands reversed and issues at work with the Page of Pentacles reversed, perhaps a missed opportunity to take a break or rest in 5D Connect with Indigo Emperor Guidance Before Dawn in Disconnect or at a Distance or perhaps Online Connection with the Queen of Pentacles. Presently, Grounding Integrating a Delivery, the Knight of Swords Upright, and the Eight of Cups leaving, walking away within from an unfair relationship with the Page of Pentacles reversed challenged by brokenness or car or moving issues, needing a new start with the King of Wands reversed, healing work issues with rest and deep contemplation, with indigo proposal to the emperor of guidance or commitment to get up early when needing to connect face to face with the Queen of Pentacles upright at 10, 16, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the 16 of the Tower, sudden events, epiphanies and our sexual exchange. So let's see what cards come up for you here we'll do the the shaman dreams card or deck again and where are we we're at 104 30 and 31 so that's the one of the magician the four of the emperor and the 30 of the union to 31 which is then the getting moving or some kind of group effort that can be conflict or games or acting it can be the pursuit of happiness 
sports. And these, this deck is really stiff again. <laughs> uh, that could be taken another way, which it can be, I suppose. All right. What is our takeaway from the reads today? For the Twin Flames on this Valentine's Day, we have the 39 coming up, Me Talks, repairing the body, mind, and spirit. So someone might be detoxing themselves. That's the Knight of Cups, either being love or loving themselves. And then we have two more with the Moon Maiden of New Beginnings and the 41, which is self-love, spiritual love, and new love. And it's interesting it's under the water because we're talking about the green plants at the bottom of the rivers and there, this one's in a bathtub so there's a lot of water here emotional day with the knight of cups offering love and the ace of cups of new love which of course is today the 35 of the wounded warrior of course there's always somebody who doesn't have new love today and then they feel sad because they see all this coming together around them the lost compass getting back to integrity right from the wounded warrior victim mentality to being authentic to who you are and not worrying about so much what other people think. Just doing the right thing by your own expectations of integrity. And then we have um, the bottom of the deck, which is the Feast of Plenty, which is funny, the founders of the feast came up. We have the 20 of Judgment, Announcements, Wake Up Call. And this ball is getting knived, it looks like. And there's a bee on there, too, with crystals. It's very interesting. Feast of Plenty, Choices and Their Consequences is the underlying energy here. And the Watchers, Transpersonal. And he looks like one of the clouds I took pictures of the other day, if you haven't checked out my Instagram. There's some cool pictures there. It was like I was getting like the, like an Indian chief. And it was very interesting, kind of like this but in the clouds, so check that out. 60 is the Six of Swords, uh, finding peace, right? Getting away from troubled waters. In the Feast of Plenty, remembering when you do feast, there's always consequences to your actions. Even if it's just eating, there's still consequences, right? That's the underlying energy, right? To be careful, you know, your eyes may be bigger than your stomach and that can relate to anything, not just food. And that can have to do with detoxing as well, right? Spoiling yourself. It's all about balance, right? So it's, it's about never overdoing anything, whether it's good stuff or bad stuff. It's about staying in the middle. With new beginnings of love. There's all about love here. Lots of water and emotions. And then the lost compass. Perhaps you lost your direction for a second as the wounded warrior, getting back to your integrity again, right? Back to balance again. Perhaps you splurged for Valentine's Day. And then that's fine. Just get right back to where you wanted to be before. All right, let's see what the journey of love has for us. It was just, by the way, when I told you what time it was, it was 3.33 on the clock. So the 3.33 is coming up again, too. On the journey of love, we got two. Falling, remember to be light as a feather so when you fall it doesn't hurt. The 14 is the temperance card of being patient and balanced, going off the beaten path, taking one step at a time, being patient with others and yourself, and again, keeping it light so it doesn't hurt when you fall. And then we have across the waters, which is the feminine being able to stand in the vortex, in the cyclone, and be unaffected. The 23 is the king of wands across the waters, right? Crossing over to the other side. And she sees the light. And try, and keep it, she sees the light and is keeping it light, right? Which was very much about the meditation I was doing today. Is keeping it light with the masculine, right? To trust in the process. And then there's the 32 of devotion to the small, which has been coming up all week. So again, maybe taking care of kid issues or... Um, your inner child, your pets, the flowers, whatever's important to you, whatever's vulnerable and needs help. But this is black and white. They're very black and white. And this is the focus here. 
keeping it light, tending to the little ones, and being able to stand in the vortex without being affected in the cyclone part. Keeping your energy clear. And then we have the, the dark mother kind of energy here again, right? So the mother prays, but the praying mantis also bites off your head. But remember, when someone prays for you, they may not be praying what you're praying for. So then they're literally cursing you because they're pushing their will on you, right? The 15. So just because someone has good intentions doesn't mean it's good intentions because they're, they're like going against what you want for your higher self. It doesn't mean they, they, they can um, affect you, especially if you're clearing yourself every day and, and keeping your vibration high. But just saying that's being passive aggressive because no one has the right to tell another adult what to do, even if they're your parent. Okay? It's one thing when you're a child and you need guidance and love. But even then, it's about guiding you and loving you, not bossing you around and telling you my perspective on what you should do, right? So it's always asking someone, even before giving them a compliment, right? Someone might not want the compliment, right? Even a compliment is a judgment, right? It doesn't have to be negative. We make decisions all day long. But it's allowing each person their own sovereignty, which means not, you know, it's, we all do it. But it's about learning how not to do that, not how to, to overstep our boundaries with other people and not allow other people to overstep our boundaries and standing up for ourselves. Even if you know they didn't mean anything by it, you need to set those boundaries so it's clear that you don't want them praying something different than what you're praying for yourself, that kind of energy. So that was important to bring up. Um, where's the other ones? And this is the last one that's coming up, is drop into your heart. Again, the high heart and the physical heart. The 68 is the page of pentacles of learning something new, right? Start maybe going into a new business or going back to school. It could be a student who's really a really good student, a researcher, an intern. That can be a new opportunity, an invitation, right? Being really curious about something, wanting to learn. And then the woman of light comes up here too. I have to show you because it wanted to come out. The 49 of getting your wish with standing in that white light, which I talked about in this read earlier. The bottom of the deck is the 10 of high vibration and 3 to 1, which came up yesterday, the day before again. Again, it looks like an underground tunnel, but it also represents the vortex of just being in the quiet. You see there's still some storm out there because you see the ripples here. It's not smooth. But it's very quiet in here. It's a very safe place. But it's not just you. There's three of you to think of and staying in that high vibration. And there's heaven. I'm in heaven. And this always reminds me of the Green Mile and watching the movie, literally at the end of the movie. It was the old-fashioned movie. So the 70 of the Two of Pentacles is juggling, performing, distracting others from their woes, kind of like, you know, the Marilyn Monroe thing for the soldiers and puts them in heaven, right? When they're in a war situation. That's definitely this energy coming up here. And staying out of the fray. You know, keeping yourself distracted for a moment. That was coming up yesterday too, with the mask and going through, burning through his lower chakra wounds and the feminine just kind of holding tight, staying in her faith and her trust and her knowing, right? Okay, so so the first one that came out was the falling, which is 14, which is that temperance card of a higher love. And we open to 11. And falling says, don't worry. You may fear that you're falling, but it's just your soul diving deeper into the ocean of bliss. Are you sensing parts of your life flying away from you, out of your control, as the momentum of your divine surrender takes over and becomes more powerful than the old adhesive? between you and what no longer serves. Laugh, cry, celebrate, and ponder. Whether it makes sense or not, you are like a perfectly ripe fruit falling from the universal tree, succulent and ready to be enjoyed for all that you are. If you wait any longer, this moment will be lost and you'll end up on the ground, having to decay and go to seed in order to start the whole process again. This is not so bad, but what a shame if your sweet nectar was not to be savored by a hungry world. 
You deserve to be declared the most delicious, juicy fruit that ever was. So fall. You'll end up exactly where you're meant to be. This oracle contains a message for you. You're being called closer into divine union and into the fulfillment of your destiny now. It's safe for you to trust what is happening. Go with it. It might seem like you're being asked to take a leap of faith. It's the right timing for that. It's your time to give yourself in love without holding back anything of yourself. Is it wrong to love, to feel what I hold inside? The answer must wait. And so I invite you as usual to get plenty of water, rest, joy, and nature. And rise and be loved. I'll see you soon, guys. Have an amazing day.